Howdy, howdy. Hello, Mayor. So good to see you. It's so great to see you. Thank it's, you for being with us today. It, it is my pleasure. I wouldn't miss this for anything. So let's uh, let's first start out uh, by just talking a little bit about you. Why don't you tell uh, the folks back home a little bit about yourself okay. uh, so they get to know who Mary Rachel is. Okay. Well, I am first and foremost mother to Maddie, Devin, and Quinn, my three wonderful kids. I've lived in St. Pete for probably 26 years now, and I love St. Pete, and I love what you're doing for St. Pete. Thank you. And I have been very fortunate to be able to do what I love to do, and that's act. And I love acting, and I've been doing it for about 30 years. So I, I would imagine, I mean, in, in that profession, you get to meet some pretty interesting people, some very familiar household names. Yeah. And so when they, when you're talking with them on the set, and if they ask you, where are you from, and, and and you say St. Pete, what, it, what is it you tell them about St. Petersburg? When you're on set and they're going around and, and introducing each other, where are you from New York, where are you from New York, where are you from LA, and then they come to me and I'm like, St. Pete, Florida. And it's like, what the what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, like, it's not the norm that somebody from St. Pete is like toe to toe with Woody Harrelson on LBJ, which was directed by Rob Reiner. And the funny thing is, when I auditioned for Rob Reiner to play Judge Sarah T. Hughes, who, sares, who swears Woody Harrelson in, yeah. in LBJ, incredible moment, I'll never forget that moment. When I was auditioning and he asked where I was from, I said, St. Pete, he goes, I love St. Pete. You're kidding. And I said, I am so glad you do, because I do too. And, wow. And when you come back, please let me know. We have an excellent mayor. Come and meet our mayor and oh we'll show gosh, you the town. Oh my gosh, that would be incredible. Yeah, so hopefully when he comes back, we'll have the opportunity wow. to do that. But he's a big fan of St. Pete. The image that I think is about LGBJ that's burned in everybody's mind is, is the swearing in on, the, on Air Force One and you got to fill that, play that role. Oh. What was that like? As an actor, you want to bring everything in your toolbox to the character and once you step on set. I walked into the cabin of Air Force One and they had done such a beautiful job in recreating that moment in time mm. that as an actor, all you have to do is be in that moment, which I love being. I was the second to the last person that they brought in and then the last person that they brought in was Woody and I hadn't seen him yet. And when he, even before he could see him, you could feel his presence. Wow. He like in the presence of greatness. And he just walked in and he stood across from me and I looked up and I almost said, holy! <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't, you know? They had transformed him and he looks yeah. like LBJ. But what an incredible guy he is. And, and Rob Reiner too, what incredible. I, it's every time I step on set, I'm like, how did I get here? And boy, am I grateful and love this so much and appreciate it. Tell us a little bit about um, your experiences here in St. Pete. Uh, I know you did a, a short film at Crescent Lake, mm -hmm. uh, but there's been a number of other films here. And uh, what's your experience and, and what have you heard about uh, this community? Well, my what I work on are short films and I love shorts. So the productions that we went in obviously are full length feature films. But I've heard very favorable reviews from production companies that I know that have come to work here on feature films and they want to come back. Um, mine are just short films and they're just like a couple of days and it's very easy to shoot in St. Pete. There is so much to choose from as far as our landmarks, mm. our beautiful scenery. Um, effortless, when I produce it's effortless, everything that I need is here. Such talented people here that I can pick from, such talented crew that we can showcase. And if I could do it every day, <laughs> I might do that every day if I could, you know, there's produce and, and create and showcase St. Pete and our people. And there's something to be said for being able to stay home when you're working. Exactly. I want to work at home. Yeah. I love working here in St. Pete. So I understand that um, you like to sing. <laughs> Do you do karaoke? I, I have been known to do karaoke. Do you like yeah. known to do karaoke? You love karaoke? I do have fun doing it. So I wanted to bring you a little something and I thought, what could I give you that relates to what I do but also connects with you? And I love karaoke. I go down to Sarasota and sing with my 87-year-old mom. Oh my goodness. Who is a karaoke-aholic. Really? And we go to the pub in the meadow. So I thought, what could I get you that ties both things together? Oh and this God. is your own little personal <laughs> retro karaoke mic. That is awesome. And you can Bluetooth it, and you can get songs off of an app. Just download an app on your phone. Oh, and you can kidding. sing with people all over the world. So promise me you're going to do that. That is so cool. I will do that. And get your singing on. So we're, we obviously are talking about singing. Yes. Um, we're going to have uh, Danny and Alex are going to perform for us. Uh, I understand uh, there's 
You've heard them before? I am so excited. And they are incredibly talented, passionate, wonderful young men who are so good at what they do. You won't be able to stop watching them. And so we want to welcome uh, Danny and Alex to the Mayor's Lounge. Woo! I'm so excited! <laughs> Shave it off for Molly, yeah. Break up with me, that's alright. I'll just cut my hair, my head and I. Break up with me, it's all good. It's all good. There's a barber in my neighborhood. I'll break up, haircut. Give me a break up, haircut. Oh, you know I need a break up, haircut. I need a girl. Break up, haircut. I need a girl. to do 